Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Jackie. And today we are going to talk about Note down relevant information from text heard. Noting down is useful to get the key information. It makes you retain, remember, recite, and recall relevant information. Kanalasan, sinasabihan tayo ng ating teacher na mag-take note. Hindi ibig sabihin na kapag ikaw ay nag-take note, lahat ng sasabihin ng isang speaker o ng iyong pinapanood o lahat ng mga words na nandun sa story ay inyong iti-take note. There are some techniques in taking down notes. Things to remember in noting down. Number one, don't write every single word you hear. Number two, highlight only the key words. Number three, note down words or expressions that the speaker repeats more than twice. These are important. Number four, stick to short phrases and bullet points. Number five, have your own Personal abbreviations for words to save time and effort on your part. Yung note-taking kasi, free yun. There is freedom in note-taking. Ano mga freedom na sinasabi ko? Ibig sabihin, pwede kang magkamali ng spelling. Pwedeng shortcuts or abbreviations ang iyong gagamitin. Ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang isang halimbawa kung paano ka mag-note-taking kapag ikaw ay nakikinig ng isang kwento o di kaya you're listening or watching an information given to you. Now, I want you to listen to the story How the Wicked Sons Were Duped. This is written by Joseph Jacobs. I want you to take down notes, especially of the relevant information that you can get from the story. How the Wicked Sons Were Duped by Joseph Jacobs a very wealthy old man, imagining that he was on the point of death, sent for his sons and divided his property among them. However, he did not die for several years afterwards, and miserable years many of them were. Besides the weariness of old age, the old fellow had to bear with much abuse and cruelty from his sons. Wretched, selfish ingrates! Previously, they vied with one another in trying to please their father, hoping thus to receive their patrimony. They cared not how soon he left them, nay, the sooner the better, because he was only a needless trouble and expense. And they let the poor old men know what they felt. One day, he met a friend and related to him all his troubles. The friend sympathized very much with him and promised to think over the matter and call in a little while and tell him what to do. He did so. In a few days, he visited the old man and put down four bags full of stones and gravel before him. Look here, friend, said he. Your sons will get to know of my coming here today and will inquire about it. You must pretend that I came to discharge a long-standing debt with you and that you are several thousands of rupees richer than you thought you were keep these bags in your own hands and on no account let your sons get to them as long as you are alive you will soon find them change their conduct toward you salam i will come again soon to see how you're getting on when the young man got to hear of this further increase of wealth they began to be more attentive and pleasing to their father than ever before. And thus they continued to the day of the old man's demise, when the bags were greedily opened and found to contain only stones and gravel. <laughs> Things to remember in noting down. Number 1. Don't write every single word you hear. Number 2. Highlight only the key words. Number three, note down words or expressions that the speaker repeats more than twice. These are important. Number four, stick to short phrases and bullet points. Number five, have your own personal abbreviations 
for words to save time and effort on your part. That's it for today. I hope that you have learned something from me so that you can better take down notes. Hope that the tips help you with your note-taking endeavors. Once again, this is Teacher Jackie saying bye-bye.